now we will discuss management of the second degree atrioventricular block the management of the first degree atrioventricular block in case of asymptomatic patient there is no requirement any therapy does not require any specific therapy in the pre hospital setting or in the er in the asymptomatic patient unless the patient is symptomatic then we will give the treatment to the patient symptomatic patients uh, are with the mi admission is indicated to a unit with telemetry monitoring and transcutaneous pacing capabilities patient with uh, acute mi uh, and second degree block or symptomatic patients with uh, morbid type 1 second degree block we, we, we will have to do the transcutaneous pacing cap pacing or transvenous uh, pacemaker in, pla in placement then the patient with the symptomatic patient should be treated with atropine and transcut transvenous pacing until the further workup determines the etiology uh, the treatment uh, uh, with the atropine and trans transcutaneous pacing is temporarily and the permanent treatment is the transvenous pacing so the before uh, given the atropine there we should consider that this suspected we cannot give in this suspected myocardial uh, ischemic patient or patient with ventricular arrhythmia we cannot give atropine to them because atropine can worsen the infranodal delay and increase the av block management of morbid type 2 second degree av block admit all the patients whether it is they are the symptomatic or asymptomatic with monitor beds transcutaneous and transvenous pacing capabilities available transcutaneous pacing pads should be applied to all the patients with morbid type 2 including those who are asymptomatic because such patients has propensity to progress to the complete heart block transcutaneous pacing should be tested to ensure capture if capture is not able to achieved we will discuss what is meant by capture and then insertion of transvenous pacemaker uh, is indicated even in asymptomatic patients we do the x-ray to confirm the position of the wire and exclude the complications related to the transvenous uh, pacemaker so here are, here are guidelines for pacemaker implantation the american heart association american Cardi Cardi college of cardiology and heart rhythm society gives guidelines related to the pacemaker implantation the core of the recommendations for permanent pacemaker implantation is based on the two factors one factor is the presence of symptoms related to the rhythm, rhythm disorder and second is the presence of an infra or the presence of infranodal block it means the patient with the second degree block morbid i1 if it is not symptomatic if it is or asymptomatic we do not insert the permanent pacemaker but it if uh, in morbid i1 infranodal av block is present we do the permanent pacemaker implantation or uh, the symptomatic patients in case of uh, morbid type 2 whether it is asymptomatic or it is symptomatic we do the permanent pacemaker implantation indications are the second degree av block associated with signs such as bradycardia heart failure asystole greater than the three seconds three equal greater than or equal to three seconds second degree av block with neuromuscular disorders for example duchenne muscular dystrophies or myotonic muscular dystrophies there is the risk of progression to the higher blocks and the progression is unpredictable in these patients then the mobits uh, type 2 with the uh, white coalescent complex most likely showing the infranodal block the patients with asymptomatic patients of mobits type 1 with infra or intrahis bundle bronze on the electrophysiological study as we earlier discussed that uh, the, in mi the second degree block or third degree block can be the temporarily if the block persists and symptomatic then we do the uh, permanent pacemaker implantation in these patients especially with the bundle branch block here uh, is some picture showing the uh, 
ट्रांसक्यूटेनियस पेस मेकर दीज आर दी ट्रांसक्यूटेनियस पेस मेकर पैड्स दीज आर डिफरेंट पैड्स दैन दी ई सी जी पैड्स वही अप्लाई ऑन द स्किन एंड दिस इज दी मनीटर फॉर दी पेस मेकर इम्पलांटेशन हेयर इज सम पेसिंग वी कैन चेंज दी रेट फ्रॉम दिस मनीटर दिदम एंड इट विल शो दी पेसिंग ऑन एंड ऑफ एंड आल्सो वी सी हेयर we see the capture is present or not capture is actually showing the beat due to the pacemaker and if capture is not present we do the transvenous pacemaking uh, this monitor will help us to monitor the patient either it will show capturing to on the pacing uh, and other modalities to set the rate of the patient for example american heart association guidelines uh, give us information that we should uh, uh, heart, initiate heart from the 60 and then we move to the uh, 70 or other uh, rate here also some pictures showing the uh, pacemaker implantation transvenous pacing uh, from the left subclavian and right into jugular this is the two probes uh, in the right ventricle and there is the dual chamber pacemaker implantation uh, here is the in the right atrium this is the right atrium and uh, it is the right ventricle then uh, as we discussed earlier that we can confirm the location of the pacemaker leads uh, through the x ray in this there are this is the device and there are the probes going into the right atrium and also in the ventricles